Hi. An article in yesterday's Hate Mail on Sunday penned by political editor Glenn Owen was a classic illustration of class prejudice, snobbery and rampant misogyny. It refers to imagined occurrences during PMQs. According to a nameless source from the Conservative benches, Angela Rayner, Labour Deputy Leader, has been deliberately distracting Johnson by provocatively crossing her legs, basic instinct style, thereby putting him off his stroke. I have zero sympathy for any MP who once they crossed the threshold of corruption, power-mongering, carnival, sociopaths, whatever good intentions they may have originally harboured, vanishes once they enter Parliament. They become part of the machinery, but the attack on Rayner is obscene in its leering suggestiveness. Rayner left school at 16, a single mother, has a bald working-class northern accent, and probably for that reason alone glenn owen pukes his bile upon her while he oozes sympathy for johnson distracted by her alleged body language as he bellows snorts splutters jabs his trotters at the opposition benches how dare she after all johnson gilded product of eaton the oxford debating societies regards himself as a superior human being by dint of his breeding alone what really is distracting this misshapen hulk of privilege is thinking about the next delivery of his Harrods hampers, trying to figure out how many kids he's got, or embarking upon his next extramarital affair. While we in the anarcho scene, one can hardly call it a movement, tear each other apart about identity, gender politics, pronouns, the true institutional sexes, homo and transphobes, nonces, sex offenders, all-round political scumbags, sit back and prosper as tens of millions slide into purity, poverty, hopelessness. What are we going to do about it? And when? Bye.